your first alert forecast with meteorologist Chelsea Aaron. Well, good Monday evening, everyone. We're all calm and quiet this evening. Here's a live look across Madison and I-565. Mostly clear skies. This is on our Fly Breeze camera network, and we also are cool. Current temperatures are sitting in the upper 40s, low and mid 50s. Since the late afternoon, we've dropped nearly 20 degrees in several places. Make sure you have some layers before you head out the door early tomorrow morning, as we likely will be sitting in the 30s. That's because we have relatively calm winds. Winds, also clear skies. This is going to give us a pretty good setup for what we call radiational cooling. Essentially, without any cloud cover, all of the heat is able to escape the atmosphere. Now again, winds will stay relatively light. We can't rule out some isolated breezes coming out of the north. The good thing about these winds is this will help to limit the formation of fog, so you shouldn't have any early morning commuting issues. Just again, make sure you have a jacket or possibly even a winter coat if you are cold natured. Morning lows will be chilly, ranging likely in the low and mid 30s, but we will see much improvement throughout the day on Tuesday with plenty of sunshine and high temperatures warming back in the upper 50s, low and mid 60s. Skies will stay clear and winds will stay calm as we head into tomorrow evening with morning lows on Wednesday, pretty much the same, ranging right back in the mid 30s. We will see plenty more gorgeous days all the way through Thursday this week with high temperatures staying steady well above average and the low and mid 60s. You notice temperatures even into your weekend will stay warm, but the difference is we are going to reintroduce rain into the forecast and it looks like a bit of a wet pattern will be setting up beginning Friday all the way into your weekend and likely early next week. Right now, no signs of severe weather, but we could see some very heavy pockets of rainfall at times and also a few thunderstorms. Of course, we're going to keep keeping you updated right here. How much rain are we expecting from Friday? all the way through Sunday. Well, it looks like a good soaking. Most locations can count on nearly half an inch to possibly even two inches across the region. And right now, still kind of far out, so we have a lot to fine tune between we get there. So note these rain totals might even go up again right now. No signs of severe weather, but if that were to change, we'll be keeping you updated for now. Just enjoy the beautiful days that we have in store ahead. Plenty of sunshine for your Tuesday that mainly sunny trend continues all the way through Thursday with afternoon highs staying well into the 60s. Big changes coming on Friday and likely we will see rain early in the day and get a bit of a break from that rain late Friday evening and into Saturday. But rain once again comes back throughout the day on Saturday and Sunday might be our wettest day of them all. We will see a few early morning showers carrying over into next Monday, but we should dry out by midweek next week. Our next focus is going to be possibly much colder air moving back into the area. I'm enjoying the springtime mm -hmm. fill, Margot, but I really hope we don't go back to winter.